current Snapchat vibes. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing a My Mac lipstick collection video. I know this kind of sounds stupid, but I'm going on a trip and I'm going to a Mac and I wanted to share with you the shades I have and I want you guys to leave me recommendations on what other shades I should pick up because I love MAC lipsticks. Um, I try to get as many of them as I can when I know people are leaving or going away or coming back. I ask them to go to MAC and pick up lipstick for me because, you know, I'm an addict. So, let's, uh, let's go through what I have. Leave some recommendations down below for what ones you think I should pick up while I'm away. I definitely will tell you one for sure I'm looking at. I do have a couple that are limited edition, so I'm just gonna quickly mention them and then move into the regular lipsticks that I have. So, the first one is from the Kelly Osborne collection and this one is in the shade Dodgy Girl. It is a matte finish and it is a lilac purple and I wear it all the time. I love it so, so much. It's one of my all time favorites. Sticking with Kelly's theme, I have Riot House, which is like a matte, almost peachy orange. I'm not a big fan of this one, but I do have it because I love the collection. Um, I will stick close-ups of every single one of these lipsticks. In as I go, the next one from Kelly's collection is called Kelly Yum Yum, and it is a satin finish, and uh, it's bright pink. <laughs> I love this. I wear this one as well very, very often. And then the final one from Kelly's collection is another matte finish, and it's called Strip Poker, and it's pretty much nude as nude can get. Uh, complete nude. I'm not big on nude lipsticks, but I do like having a couple on hand in case I want to brave the attempt of using some. And then into the regular collection. The first one I'm pulling out is a satin finish and it is in the shade Rebel. As you guys know, I wear this all the time. I love it. It's a dark purple with a little bit of glitter in it, if you will. It's not too much glitter. Like It's just enough of a sheen to make your lips look cute and happy and sassy and I get a lot of comments on it when I wear it. It comes off more like a berry tone on my lips for some reason, I think. Or that's what I would say anyway, based on looking in the mirror. Up next, I have a cream sheen finish in the shade Dare You. It is like a brick red. This was, or is, one of my mom's favorites. She purchased this as well when she saw mine and wanted it, so she ordered one for herself. Love this. This is a really nice brick red color. Then I have the shade Girl About Town, which is an amplified finish. This was like a one of those super talked about lipsticks on YouTube, and I see why. Like I have gone through like half a tube of this. I'm digging deep on it. It's a bright pink. I love it. It's super springy, super fun, super bright and happy. Then I have a satin finish in the shade Brave, which seems to be one of the most popular MAC lipsticks ever talked about. Liz Anderson was the one who got me on this one, and she's evil for it. She made me buy it, but I really like it. Um, it's like a dusty rose nude. It's like perfect standby day-to-day -day office wear type lipstick. Then I have a matte Taylor Swift red, if you will, in the shade Russian red. Love this one. My mom loved this one and went and bought it as well. I will say the matte finishes for MAC are a little drying, so I always put on a nice coat of lip balm before I get into wearing them. Brittany's just texting me. Yep, her channel's linked down below in case you're wondering. Uh, then I have a luster finish in the shade Love Lord. This I actually had two of and I finished one completely and I'm digging pretty deep on this one as well. Uh, I really, really like it. It's just like a, a blue toned pink and I really enjoy this lipstick. I think it's great. It's one of the first ones I ever got for everyday wear. Up next is a luster finish in the shade Luster Ing. I know that this is the first lipstick I ever bought from MAC and I bought it on my first trip with AJ when I went to visit her for the first time and I love it. It's so pink, but not pink. Um, it's like a understated nude, if you will. And that's what it looks like. I don't know why I swatched that one, not the rest of them, but I love it. 
Then I have Pink Pearl Pop, which is what's on my lips today, and it's like a nice bright pink. Uh, I have two of these. Mom bought me one as a gift, didn't realize I had it, so this is the one Mom bought me. Then I have an Amplified Finish in the shade Chatterbox, which is a pretty similar to Pink Pearl Pop, actually. I do have a lot of, like, very similar pinks now that I think about it. That's Lustring and Pink, and, uh, there's a Chatterbox next to each other. Then I have a Luster Finish in a red shade called Cockney. This is red with gold flecks in it, and it's really nice, and I'm almost, this is, like, one of the second ones I've ever bought. Um, I will say though, where it is a luster finish, it's more like a glossy lipstick, so I don't know how I feel about that anymore. I've transitioned more into the Amplified and the matte finishes from MAC. Speaking of matte finishes, this is a retro matte finish in the shade Ruby Woo. Super, super drying, you guys. Um, I will say, this is, feels like a crayon when you swatch it, but you can tell it's a matte finish on so many levels. Like. I do like it. Um, Britt actually wore it when she was here, and then when she went back to Halifax, she had to go buy it for herself. Uh, then I have a cream sheen finish in the shade Lickable, which is like a dark pink color, and I really like this one as well. It's like a magenta. <laughs> I really like it. Then I have my second pink pearl pop, which is the one I've been using. Clearly, this is a bit brighter. Uh, then the other ones. I had one in the shade Fanfare. I wonder what happened to that. If that's lost forever or I finished it. Oh no, Fanfare fell on the ground and got ran over by my car. Right, that's what happened to that one. Um, and then finally, this is the newest one that I talked about in the vlog, and I'm rotted but happy at the same time that MAC changed the packaging. I have Heroin, and I love it. It's such a dark purple. Very dark purple, and I love it so much. William's mom picked it up for me in Halifax, and not in Halifax, in Edmonton, and I love it. It's matte, it's bold, it's purple, but when I say matte changed the packaging, they're now doing their lipsticks. The top of the tube is the finish and the shade that the lipstick is, and it took MAC forever to do this because all of my other ones are obviously in the black tube, and it sucks because I have to like take them out and look at what shade they are. So it makes me want to go repurchase all of them, but I don't have the money to do that. So yeah, that's the MAC Lippy that I recently acquired. So I think I want to get up the amp. That's the newest one I think I'm looking at and something else. I want to get two, I think. So um, leave some suggestions down below of what other MAC lipsticks you think I should pick up when I am on my trip. I'm not saying where I'm going for good reason. I just want to go be invisible for a while, but I will vlog the whole thing. That sounds so counterproductive, but anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing my lipstick collection by MAC. Please don't forget to leave a suggestion down below if you have used MAC lipsticks before. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any fun new content. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.